Hi, my name is Catherine and welcome to my first booktube. In this booktube I'm going to review the book Truly Madly Deadly by Hannah Jane. The book is about this girl named Sawyer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. But uh, she just lost her boyfriend in a car accident and she should be devastated because on the outside they were the perfect couple. Soya is this straight A student and she's an athlete but things were not quite perfect. Soya was keeping a secret about their relationship. A, she a secret she thought that no one knew about until the day she finds a note in her locker that says you're welcome. And suddenly Sawyer realizes that maybe her boyfriend's accident was not an accident. Sawyer realizes that there is someone out there who's willing to do anything to protect her from the people who are trying to hurt her. And that person will literally do anything. Soya has been having a pretty rough time getting back to school after her boyfriend's death. And there is this teacher who wants to help her. And he's friendly, and maybe he's a little too friendly. And then something happened to this teacher, and Sawyer realizes that someone must be shattering her. And that person is willing to do anything to make Sawyer safe. This is just going to be a super quick review, so I'm just going to say one thing that I liked about the book, and one thing I like less about the book. because. This was a really great book, and I have a thing for books that has car crashes in it, and and this book, but this book was quite different from the other books I've read with car crashes because usually the books are about moving on from the from the from from the car crash, but and this was of course, but because Soya isn't really um, sad about her boyfriend's death, of course she's sad because she lost her boyfriend, but. It's more about solving this crime, because if it wasn't an accident, then who did it? And yeah, so this book is more like, it's a thriller, and it's about really solving this whole mystery, and who is shadowing Soya, and I really like that. I really like that it was different from the other books I've read about car, car accidents. And now to the thing that was less good about the book. Usually when I read these books about car accidents, there are a lot of emotions in them. And I really love that. I love being dragged through all kinds of emotions. Being sad, being happy, being miserable, everything. And because this book isn't really about moving on, I miss those emotions. Because even though this is about solving a crime, I still kind of miss knowing what Sawyer was feeling. Was what was going on in her head when all of these things happened and the book is quite short it's only like 260 pages and I wouldn't have minded it if it had been maybe 50 pages longer and then I would have known what Soya felt because yeah I'm missing some emotions in this book but overall it was a really great book and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars because I really enjoyed it and I read it in two days because I needed to know what all of this was about and what was going on and who was shadowing Soya and maybe had she done it herself. If you have read this book I would uh, love to know what you thought about it so leave a comment and thanks for watching. Bye!